Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, I have the Miss Lucy Christmas box unboxing and demo to share with you all. I have been wanting to get this video recorded and edited, etc., for the past week, but I have been crazy busy. So I'm finally getting it round to it this evening and I have to say I absolutely love everything that's in this box and I've used it a couple of times since doing this unboxing and demo. But first of all, let's jump into the video. So I I am quickly going to go through, unpack everything, and then we are going to take a closer look at everything that's inside the package and we're going to do a demo using everything that's inside as well. Now, I did purchase this box myself. However, because I'm a Miss Lucy brand artist, I do have a discount code to share with you all. So I will leave that on the screen and in the description box below. That gets you 10% off the entire Miss Lucy website. Now, this particular box isn't available to purchase anymore. It was a limited edition Christmas box and I do believe it sold out fairly quickly. And I think a few of the things in here are limited edition as well. So they're not all available to purchase. I will, we'll go for it as we go for it. Like things like, I think the scraper, the stamper are, sorry, the scraper and the stamping plate are limited edition, but things like this reverse it brush, I do believe you can purchase that on the website. And the Dr. Prince cards, you can head over to their website and purchase those as well. But things like the plates and the scraper, I do believe both of those items were limited edition. I thought this was such a sweet box and I only noticed when I was doing this voiceover that the packaging is actually images from the stamping plate which is such a cool touch so you see the little snowflakes that were on the pin badge packaging and the snowflakes that are printed on the paper in the background they are all images from the snowflake plate which is super cute but yeah let's jump in and take a look what's inside so you did get the miss lucy pin badge which can go on your uniform or your lanyard and then there's the miss lucy reverse it brush so this is designed for reverse stamping so we will be doing a little bit of that further along in the video you did also get the miss lucy scraper now these are available to purchase in the classic design and i loved my classic design one it's so great to use because it's larger it's a lot easier to scrape with I find and as you can see here it's really strong as well another thing that was included in this box which was new to me was these Dr Prince now sorry manicure roulette cards and I thought these were really cool I hadn't actually heard of Dr Prince until Miss Lucy had mentioned to me that they were going to be included in the box so I love them they are really really fun as you can see the packaging actually opens up and explains to you how the cards work I haven't yet gone over to the website and take a closer look at these but I do plan to but here in this little mini mix you get some color palette ones so as you can see on one side it lets you know that you're picking your color palette and then you turn it over and it's got a few different color options. So this is really great if you do clients and they're happy to do surprise nails or they're kind of up for these fun nail art games. However, I even found as myself as just doing nails as a content creator, this is a really fun way to push yourself out of your comfort zone and maybe try a design that you haven't done before. For example, the color palette there where it said Island Vibes, I believe. That's not enough something I would necessarily do myself. So it's cool having this, even as a content creator, you could pop a few cards down pick a couple, which is exactly what we're gonna do in today's video actually. And it's a great way to maybe do a set of nails that you might not always normally do, or to even, if you're lacking motivation or inspiration, a way to give you a plan. Because sometimes when you haven't got clients to work on, it can be quite hard to sit down and know what type of content to create. Now, of course, the best part about this box was the limited edition stamping plate so this is the retro snowflake stamping plate and the designs on these are absolutely amazing this is such a fun twist on snowflakes and i don't think i've seen anything like this before so i was really excited to receive this one so let's jump in anyway and do the set of nails so i decided i would just use the color palette cards because I didn't want to be restricted with a design because for example I don't think I would have been able to fit snowflakes into the island vibes card so I picked two cards and I got quite an easy one I got gold and nudes but when I was looking at these cards there was also a magenta and that kind of inspired me to want to use one of those colors as well so we do throw a little bit of pink into this set of nails 
So first of all, we are gonna start with our gel polish bases. So I'm gonna be using a nude tan, and then to throw a little bit of gold into this set, I'm also gonna be using RB012, which is a nude shade with some gold flakes mixed in there. Now, both of these colors are from Kiki London. So I'm gonna start off with the nude tan, and I'm gonna apply this to all four of the nails. Just a thin first coat covering all of the nails. This is gonna give us our nice nude base coat. Now, of course, sorry, not base coat, our nice nude base of course if you was working on yourself or a client you would need to come in and apply a base coat first of all as well as doing all of your prep but because we're just working on display tips we just come in straight in with our color now i really like this shade it's a really nice creamy beigey brown nude and i thought it just worked well for the nude that we needed for this design so once i've done my first coat of this i'm going to pop this into cure and then on the middle two nails i'm going to come in with a second coat of this but on on the first and last nail I'm actually going to use the rubber color base that I showed you with the gold flakes in there now there is a Kiki London top coat that has gold flakes in there but I did want to add a little bit of coverage to this set because we've only done one coat of the new tan over knee underneath <laughs> my gosh I'm really struggling to get my words out I don't usually do my voiceovers in the evening I usually always do them in the morning or early afternoon but I really want to get this video done so I've got a little bit of time so I thought I'd get it done this evening and it's been a really long day and yeah I'm probably going to struggle to get my words out because I've already done around two or three voiceovers today for videos over on the Kiki London channel by the way if you're not already subscribed to that channel do check it out I've been creating lots of content over there for their new launches so I will try and remember to leave the Kiki London YouTube channel linked in the description box below because there's lots of gel polish, nail art, a little bit of stamping over on that channel as well. Now over the top of the first two nails, I'm gonna, sorry, over the top of the middle two nails, I'm gonna come in with some foil gel because we are gonna be adding some foils into this design. So I'm just popping a thin coat of my foil gel over these two nails and popping this in to cure for 30 seconds. Now I love this foil gel. It leaves such a super, super tacky layer. So it's brilliant for applying any kind of full coverage foils but today we're going to just be pressing on a little bit of this metallic foil so i was trying to press this on and angle this on so it was only going to apply in two little patches on the nail so that those patches can be kind of like a background for some of our stamping this was quite tricky because of how tacky this foil gel is it kind of just wanted to grab on to the whole foil so as you can see i'm kind of just angling the nail and trying to just press down a small amount of that foil so that we don't cover too much of the nail and then this gives us our nude and gold from our dr prince color palette cards so this is what those two nails are looking like i really actually loved how this gold looked over this particular nude i think because they're both quite full coverage colors it worked really nicely now we're going to be stamping over this foil but i always like to seal my foils in with any a layer sorry of top coat now this is because if i make any mistakes with my stamping i'm going to be able to wipe my stamping off without wiping off my foil of course if you're really confident with stamping and you never make any mistakes you can skip this step but personally i like to just have that little bit of peace of mind that whatever layer i've already done is sealed in with my top coat so then we're going to come in and do our stamping and we're going to be doing a little bit of reverse stamping so my white polish is from clear jelly stamper and then i've got pink one there from born pretty and then we're going to be using the reverse it stamping brush stamp it yep nope the reverse it i don't suppose you would call it a stamping brush i didn't know what to call it then reverse it brush will do so i'm going to apply a generous amount of stamping polish i'm going to take that scraper and scrape off the excess a quick flick of the wrist and as you can see we've picked up this little snowflake beautifully i'm just removing some of the excess with a lint roller and then taking that reverse it brush and the pink stamping polish i'm going to just color it in directly onto my stamper with the pink polish and just filling in these teeny little snowflakes flakes I don't know what they would be called but these teeny little areas on the snowflake now this one went quite nicely these two on this now went quite nicely but the other two I did struggle a little bit I haven't done lots of reverse stamping I definitely will be trying to do more of it especially now I have more stamping polish colors and then also this brush made it a lot easier than brushes that I've tried to use in the past because it's quite short and quite thin as well it just made reverse stamping a lot easier than when I have tried it in the past 
So on to the next one, I've added on another pink shade that I decided to add in because I wanted to go with the bit of the retro vibe that this plate has. So I've scraped, I've applied all my stamping polish, scraped, quick flick of the wrist, picked that image up. Again, taking my lint roller and just removing the excess. Now here, my problem was is that this particular image didn't really have many areas that I could color in. And then what I was doing, I think, was picking up too much stamping polish. So this one didn't go too too badly but you just can't really see too much of that pink coming through but it does still add a little bit of color to the design and I feel as though it looked quite random which worked for this design because I feel as though retro designs do tend to look a little bit random here I'm just coming in with my angled nail art brush and a little bit of acetone just to clean up some stamping polish that had transferred that I didn't want down and then that's that now done so we're going to put that aside and do very similar on the next one so I'm starting off I loved this stamp image here with the cherries in it I just thought it looked super super fun so I've applied my generous amount of stamping polish scraped the excess quick flick of the wrist to pick up that image taking my lint roller to remove any excess and then I'm going to just color in the little cherries and I did really like how this one turned out but after playing around and doing reverse stamping here and looking back and watching this video, I was just using too much stamping polish. You do only need a little bit because it is highly pigmented and it's quite a thin consistency. So if you apply a lot and you press down with your stamper, it tends to splurge out a little bit, if that makes sense. Now, I also wouldn't say this is the best plate to do reverse stamping with because this plate is so detailed and the snowflakes have so much detail to them that there's not too many larger areas to color in and if you haven't done lots of reverse stamping like myself it's probably a lot easier to color in larger areas than smaller ones but I was just rolling with it like you know what we're, we're gonna do this so I'm gonna color in the center of this little snowflake here and here is one of the designs that it just didn't go perfectly but I just thought you know what it is what it is it still added a little bit of color technically it's still reverse stamped so we're going to leave it as it is but where I'd applied a little bit too much it seeped under the white a little bit and it just looked a little bit messy in all honesty I just need a lot more practice with reverse stamping but I've sorted through my stamping plates and I have found a lot more that I think are more designed for reverse stamping in mind and a couple of them are from Miss Lucy so I definitely will be doing some more reverse stamping videos. I love stamping I've also just got the new Kiki London chrome powders and I've been doing chrome stamping with those so expect to see a lot more stamping content that's not the basics I do just need to get around to filming it. Now on at the next two nails I'm just going to add some more of these snowflakes because usually whenever I get a new stamping plate I like to pretty much just swatch as many images as I can in a design just to get a feel for the images and to see how they stamp and how they look I have to say with all of my Miss Lucy plates this one included every single image I've tried stamps absolutely perfectly these images have so much detail and so many tiny details to them but they still stamp absolutely beautifully and they still look really nice and clear like look at this one here you've got a teeny tiny little butterfly in the middle of a snowflake yet it still looks nice and crisp and clear so although I don't believe that this stamping plate is available to buy if you haven't already then please do check out her other stamping plates she has so many amazing ones to choose from and I know that she's got some big plans for 2024 for even more stamping plates so like I said if you've not already checked out her website then please do so continuing on the design we're just going to add on some more of these little snowflakes on to the nude and gold now and I quite liked how this pink looked with the nude and gold although it wasn't on our color sorry our Dr Prince color palette cards I really liked adding the pink in to the nude and gold I'm really loving it's really weird because I started off the Christmas nails really loving the proper green and red traditional nails and then the past week the more stamping and the more nail designs I've done I'm really loving the kind of funky ones so I'm really this is the second set of nails I've done I believe that are pink have got pink in them for Christmas and I and I'm really really loving it so I hope you are enjoying what watch him this has been a pretty simple video but I just wanted to try out everything that was in the Miss Lucy box and have some fun with it so we're going to stamp on our last image here which is this really cute one here with the peace sign in the middle again 
what a unique design like this whole stamping plate has been designed by miss lucy but all the images are so unique and so fun personally it's not a design that i would have ever thought to put together but it works amazingly so lastly all that's left to do is to come in and top coat to seal in all of our stamping so i'm coming in with my kiki london no white rubber top coat and i'm just going to apply a thin coat of this to all of the nails and then pop these in secure i think i believe this top coat only requires a 30 second cure in an led lamp if you are familiar with the kiki london top coat some of them do have different cure times but they are always printed on the bottle of what the cure time is so just check your bottle if you are unsure and then yeah that guys is the end of the video so this was quite a random yet fun design but i do hope you really enjoyed watching i've been super busy so i haven't had as many videos up on my channel as i would have liked but i just wanted to say a huge thank you for all of you who do tune in in, who leave comments who leave likes and all that jazz lastly i just wanted to say i hope you are all doing okay let me know how you're keeping in the comments below and are you in the christmas spirit when it comes to nails once again thank you all so much for watching today's video i shall hopefully see you all again in the next one lots of love take care bye bye